Is this on? Ah, ooh, ah. So, hi guys. And yes, it's 2021 and it's my first video for the year. And welcome back. It has been a hot minute, I know, since I was last time I posted a video. So if you're new here, my name is Marie and I'm a South African living in Singapore and I make videos about life abroad, eating, traveling, hiking and just showing you a different side to Singapore because everyone always thinks Singapore is the bright light, the city life, which it is but there's also so much more that one can do here. And if you are not new to my channel and you have been watching my videos since the beginning, thank you so much for sticking around and waiting patiently for my return. Yes, this year, I think you will agree, has been a year. You know, I took some time off from posting YouTube videos because I don't know, no, I do know, and I'll, be, I'll tell you more about that later. But yes, um, I don't wanna make excuses. It is just life, life happens sometimes, and then, you know, you get back on track later on. So, you know, if you wanna find out more about what has happened the past year, not that much really apart from quarantining and, yeah, COVID. It's the 35th of April, A. Eh? 2030. <gasps> you know, there's only one thing I don't like is a uh, cattle basket. I like my tigers, I like my cats, but I, I don't like cattle basket. I don't know what accent I'm doing. I think it's just a mixture of everything. <sighs> yeah. Um, stick around. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update about what has been happening. And the biggest update I have for you guys is, well, I got a dog. She is the cutest, most adorable thing. She needs a haircut. So let me go get her. And she is the best thing that has happened to me this past year um, because last year um, when there was COVID hit and we had the circuit breaker well in Singapore they didn't call it a lockdown they called it a circuit breaker um, I was alone and I just missed home so 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 much because the borders in Singapore are closed you can leave but you can't come back um, and I don't want to take that risk I decided to get a dog I've always wanted a do dog. I grew up with dogs and um, since I left home when I was 18 years old, I always wanted one, but my lifestyle didn't permit it because I didn't feel it would be fair if I travel a lot. I moved countries quite a few times and not even countries, I moved cities within the countries. Um, it wouldn't have been fair, but now I feel like I'm old enough I'm for this responsibility and I opened a bank account for her. So yeah, she's like my child. <laughs> so it's like her college fund. And so now um, Zoe is living with me and she has been the biggest blessing this year. Um, and it's just, I'm looking forward to spending time with her every day. I almost don't want to even leave the house anymore because I just want to be with her all the time. Yes, I'm obsessed a little bit, but that was, that's what happens, right? But yeah, um, let me know if you want me to make a video about owning a dog in Singapore, the cost it involved um, and so forth. And then I can let you know a little bit more about owning a dog in Singapore and the life um, because there's a lot of restrictions um, as well and a lot of things that you need to know beforehand, like registering your dog. Um, yes. Um, so let me down in the let me let me know down in the comment section below and then we can have a chat about um, dogs in Singapore. But yeah, I've been posting a lot about her on my Instagram, little cute updates when we go hiking. She loves the outdoors. Um, so it's been really great to take her out. Even though she's small, she really, <laughs> she can go. She can last like a few hours outside walking. Okay, she's gonna sleep on my lap now. So I'll just continue. So 
One of the reasons why I stopped making videos last year is because of the timing. Um, a good thing is what happened, I got promoted in my job and I was promoted to the head of the department. So that is fantastic and I'm so grateful and happy to ha still have a job um, throughout the um, you know, pandemic. And I was so blessed to have a promotion as well within this period of time. But that meant that, of course, with every promotion, everyone's like, well done, good job, congratulations. But that means getting more work. And so when you enter a job for the first time and you start a new role, of course, um, it's going to take you a lot longer to do tasks, certain things, uh, to make decisions, because you have to think through things think things through a lot more and you'll need to spend some time and finding your feet in terms of like making sure that you've got the grips and you got the hand on everything uh, and so I just use my weekends and my free time to really just make sure I find my feet within my new role to become confident in my new role as well and I felt like that needed more time and that needed oh, that was my priority basically and so when I did have my free time and when I was off I really just wanted to relax and not think about anything <laughs> because when I do do YouTube as well and make videos it does take up a lot of time thinking about content thinking about when to film when to post um, and so yes I focus more on my work but now I'm in my second year of being the head of the department and I feel like I'm more confident in my role I'm more confident in the decisions I make and what is expected of me and have more of a balance but now I feel like you know I have found my feet more in this role so now on my off days and my weekends and my free time I can actually invest more time doing my YouTube again then another thing is I moved well I think you can tell the background is a little bit different if you've watched my previous apartment to a video my previous apartment did not look like this <laughs> so actually yes um, I moved last month and it's a new apartment and I'm so happy with it I, I think we got really really lucky Zoe and I with um, our new apartment and when it went onto the market and how quickly we were able to get it and then move and so I'm very very happy with our current place so let me know in the comment section down below if you would like me to do another home um, apartment tour and then I can share a little bit more because I did do a lot of um, shopping <laughs> apartment shopping because we spend so much time now at home I really wanted to make this place comfortable zen to my style everything so I did spend quite a bit in terms of I'm um, styling it making sure everything is looking nice um, and then I can share more about like the places I went to shop online um, and so forth and yeah I can share more about that so let me know down in the comment section below if you would like me to do that as well then another thing is that happened many of my friends left Singapore unfortunately so it was a lonely year of being stuck at home in f <laughs> between four walls um, just looking at your ceiling and your walls the whole day um, but then also your friends leaving Singapore which is kind of like your anchor when you're living abroad um, really if you've watched my hiking video and you watch some of my other videos all the girls have left except for Sylvia so it's just the two of us that's left and the other ones are back in the UK back in New Zealand back in their hometowns so yes that has been some adjustment as well in terms of um, saying bye to friends which is never easy but of course now it's also the opportunity to make new friends but it's not happening because of covid i'm just really really hoping that by december 2021 i will be able to go home because this has been the longest year the longest time and the longest year since I've seen my family so there are really days where I feel very sensitive and I feel really homesick so luckily for FaceTime and luckily we can connect via WhatsApp they weren't able to do that 50 years ago so I mean like we don't really have too much to complain about but you know this is the worst for us we this is all that we know but anyways yeah, so it's been an interesting time in Singapore. Singapore went into the um, lockdown last year. It was more of a, it was a circuit breaker for two months. Shops were closed. Everything were closed. The only thing that you were allowed to do is to go outside for a walk and if you need to go food shopping. Um, but then it was only allowed to be one. You were only allowed to be one person, and then you had to wear a mask except if you were hike, walking or running 
with strenuous exercise so um that was um a fun time so i then also enjoyed you know when i went for my food shopping is to just take a walk through the mall um as you can see you know it was it was a ghost town um, and then everything went well so everything went back to normal people were allowed to go out in limited group sizes we still have to wear masks they're very strict in singapore they've done a really great job at um, you know making sure people follow the rules and everyone is um, cautious and you know do what the best they can and also tracking um, safe entry making sure people check in they know where you go so that the, if someone is infected they can contact everyone that was perhaps in the same area as you um, on a certain day or time so and then everything went was fine and then a second wave hit um, a month ago in may and then everything shut down again basically <laughs> so shops are still open clothing stores um, but everyone has to work from home schools closed um, restaurants closed only open for takeaway gyms closed not allowed to gym not allowed to do this um, so yes my health hasn't been the best this year as you can tell my cheeks are a little bit chubbier but yeah so let me know what have you guys been up to and how have you handled it what's happening in your country um, with covid with the pandemic um, what's happening so let me know down in the comment section below as well so we can have a chat and a communicate and communicate a little bit in terms of how we're all doing and checking in and let me know what type of videos you would like to see from me this here so I'll be posting once a week on a Friday so do look out for my videos then and if you haven't watched any of my videos you can check them out on my channel and I'll see you again soon all right so remember be good do good keep on smiling and I'll see you very very soon <laughs> bye <laughs>